Hey guys, it's Liam, aka Blue Marker here once again with another music review, but this time I'm going to review Aerosmith. So, Aerosmith has existed since like the 1970s and is still performing today with Steven Tyler as the lead singer. So, let's start off with the first album, their self titled album, Aerosmith. And it has one of their most well-known songs, Dream On. And that's one of my favorite Aerosmith songs. I like that song. Pretty cool. So, thumbs up to Aerosmith for that one. And the next album is Hit Your Wings. And the only song I know from that album is Same Old Song and Dance. And I've heard Same Old Song and Dance many times. And it is a good song, so... And... So, I'll leave that be for Edge Wayne's. And the next album is Toys in the Attic, which has Sweet Emotion and Walk This Way. Now, Walk This Way has some pretty cool rhythm. And, like, I've heard that many times and really has a good beat to it. And in Sweet Emotion, it's pretty good also. And... This album came out in, like, 1975, and so did these two songs I mentioned. So, yep, heard album by Aerosmith. And this album, Rocks, from 1976, I believe I've only heard Back in the Saddle from that album, but I'm not really sure. I've seen the title of it, and I'm pretty sure I've heard it before, but... But, and not really sure, but I believe it is a old album, though. And then we get to the 80s to Permanent Vacation. And it has these songs. Dude Looks Like a Lady, Angel, and Rap Doll. Now, I can't really decide what's my favorite from that album. I mean, all three of them are really awesome. Especially Angel, I feel like... Angel is a well-known ballad. And I've heard Dude Looks Like a Lady many times and and Rap Doll also. I've I think Rap Doll is pretty cool, so yep, thumbs up. And then the next album, Pump from 1989. It has Janie's Out of Gun, Love in an Elevator, What It Takes, and The Other Side. And I have heard all four of these songs before, and they're quite amazing. I mean, like, like even in the 90s, Aerosmith did really awesome. And, yeah, but I like all four of them. Janie's Out of Town, Loving an Elevator, The Other Side, and What It Takes. So, yep, yeah, heard. And speaking of the 90s, this is an album from the 90s, Hit a Rip, and it has Living on the Edge, Crying and Crazy. And I've, and yes, you probably really get this by now, I've heard all three of them before. And then, this isn't in a, in a Aerosmith album. But this is I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, which was actually from a movie in 1998 where Steven Tyler's daughter starred in. But that I've never watched, but I have heard that song before. So, yep, thumbs up. And I haven't heard their latest albums after that. But I, what I do know is that they're still performing and they still rock and roll today so thumbs up to Aerosmith and that concludes my music review for today don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos this is Blue Marker over and out